going to demonstrate in this video with the next two minutes how to use webhooks as a mechanism to send alerts to your WhatsApp account. In this particular case, we're going to be using the webhooks as a, as a way for this Shelly power meter to send a notification whenever something goes wrong. In this case, we will be creating a specific webhook called when one of these switches is off. Okay, I'm going to name this switch one off. This requires a URL that is going to be called at the time of when um, the, the switch goes off. So for that, we will be using an application called Win, which is part of um, Rapid API. So all we need to do is to browse Rapid API, go to the Win application. Um, you obviously need to be registered. Um, this has a free tier, so it's, it's going to be enough for uh, most of the users. You'll find all the documentation in the tutorials, how to use it, how to register, etc. Together with a list of endpoints. In this case, like we said, what we need basically is a URL address. Okay, And Win is going to allow us to have a specific a personal webhook address which is called the personal listener. So if we select this in here, we basically have, we'll find two options. One is to use a group ID, which is an optional parameter that we will leave empty for now. This would allow us to get a specific address that would send these messages into a, a WhatsApp group instead of our personal account. In this case, we leave it empty, which means basically that the URL we will be receiving is just our specific, that goes right to our number. We just copy this here and paste it in here. We'll have to replace the Rapid API key with ours. So we need to go back to Win, change to code snippets, and look into the headers, and this is where your Rapid API key will be. Just copy, just make sure you're getting the entire um, number string get back to the shelly and just paste it instead of this description here now the shelly has let's say something particular when it when uh, when it comes to webhooks which is while most of the services would use http post calls the shelly will use get uh, what this means basically is that the payload is not traveling as a JSON uh, inside the call, but it has to be added instead to the URL as a param. So to that end, we will just add an ampersand in here with message key equals whatever the message we want to send. In this case, switch one off. Okay, and we will just apply the webhook. So this has been now properly configured. And then when we will turn this off, even if for a second, this is going to trigger a call, a web, uh, web call, that is going to end up, as we see here, as a WhatsApp alert. Okay. So remember what this does basically is to call a webhook, which we have obtained as in our personal listener here in the Win application. I hope you guys liked the video and bye for now.